Adding a glow effect is a cool way to create lighting in your designs. Today we'll look at how to add this effect in Affinity programs. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're gonna to look at how to add the glow effect in Affinity programs. I'll be using Affinity Designer, but this technique will work in all the Affinity software, including Photo and Publisher. Let's start with the simplest way to add a glow effect. Here I have a text object in my design. I chose a font that looks pretty good for neon signs. It's called Disco Neon Sign, and I'll put a link to it in the description below. Now with my object selected, I'm going to click the FX button. That's this button down here, that's the layer effects. So I'll click on that. And now I have all these effects that I can add to my object. The one we want is called Outer Glow, and it's right here. Be sure to click on it and to check the box. It's easy to forget to click on it, so make sure you do click on it so you have the controls over here. Now, by default, nothing really happens to your text, but I can drag the radius over here, and then I start to get a glowing effect. Now, a white glow with white letters doesn't look that great, so it's often a good idea to change the color of the glow, and I can do that by clicking this swatch here next to the color, and what I can do is I can change it to a color I like, so maybe I'll do some type of magenta glowing effect, and I'll click off of it. Now I can go and I can tune the radius more to make it look like how I want it to. I can also alter the intensity to change how strong the effect is. So now we have a really nice glow. Now one thing to note about the radius is the maximum is 100 pixels, but you can actually manually type in a number to go further than that. So I'll type in 150, and I can get even a greater radius here. But I think 100 was good, so I'll just leave it at the max there. And when you have something you like, you can click close, and now you have a glowing effect here. If you want to remove an effect, just click on the FX button here that's on that layer, and then you can uncheck the box, and it's gone. So this is the simplest way to add a glow effect. Now the process works exactly the same with a vector, so let me create a star here. I'll drag it out. Maybe this time I want to invert the colors. So I'll have my vector be yellow, and then I will give it a glowing white effect. So let me click FX. I'll check outer glow and click outer glow, and then I'll give it some type of radius. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that a white glow effect will be invisible on a white background. So if I hide my dark background here, you can see you can't actually see the glow effect anymore because it's white on white. So if you have a white glow effect, you want to make sure you have a dark background where it's going to contrast against it. It's the equivalent reason of why a shadow doesn't show up on a black background. The next method I'll show you is similar to what we just looked at, but now we're going to use a shadow effect to add a glow. Now this may seem strange because how can a shadow look the same as a glow, but I'll show you how it can. So let's add the FX like we did before. I'll click FX. I'll add an outer glow, just doing what I did last time. Increase the radius, change it to some type of magenta, maybe increase the intensity. Now what you notice is that the blend mode is screen, and this is the whole secret behind the glow effect. Let me turn this off. And let me go to Outer Shadow. So I'll turn on Outer Shadow, and I can give my object a shadow. And what I can do is I can set the blend mode of this to screen as well. So we have this option of changing the blend mode for the shadow. Then I can change the color of my shadow to magenta, and then I'll increase the radius of it. And I'll also increase the opacity and the intensity. So you can see that with the Outer Shadow effects, we've created a glowing effect. And we just did that by changing the blend mode to screen and changing the color. And I also increased the other settings here just so the effect is stronger. Now the question you're probably wondering is, why do we want to do this? Well, the thing about the outer shadow effect is it actually has some abilities that the glow does not. One of them is that we can actually move our glow around. So here we have this offset feature, and if I drag it, you can see I can move the relative position of the glowing effect. In fact, I can use the angle down here to change its direction so I can make it in different areas. If I hold shift, I can give it more fine-tuned controls. I can also type in here to change it. But one really cool thing is I have this offset tool where if I click the offset tool, I can go and I can drag my shadow around, or I can just reset it. Now, another cool feature about our shadow is that we can add multiple shadows. You can see that some of these controls here have these plus sign next to it. That means we can add the effect multiple times. So I'll click plus for the outer shadow, and I created a second outer shadow here. Let me change the color of it so it shows up more. I'll change it to a blue, and then I'll offset it the other way. Maybe I'll even blur it a little bit more. So I was able to create two outer shadow layers, and I was able to give them a different color. This one here, I was able to make blue, and this one here, I was able to make magenta, and I was able to offset them. So I'm still creating a glow effect, but by using the shadow tools, I was able to get more flexibility. So whether or not you want to use the shadow or the outer glow, it kind of depends on how complex you want your glow to be. If you want to do something really quick, you can use the outer glow effect. But if you want more flexibility and you want to offset your glow, try the outer shadow. Let's see how we can apply a glowing effect to this sign here. And I'll also show you a quick way where you can copy effects from one object to the other. I'll select the word night here, and I'll click effects. And in this example, I'll just use the normal outer glow. I'll increase the radius. Let's make it magenta. Increase the intensity. I'll click close. And we have part of our sign glowing here. Now, if I want to quickly copy this effects from one object to another, I can click the FX icon here. 
and I can drag it over to the other object. So I'll drag it to the club. And now we see that this one is also glowing. Now I think it could be touched up a little bit. So I'll click on the effects here. Maybe I want a little bit less intensity for that one. And maybe I'll make that one a different color too. Let's make it like a blue. I'll click close. I could also copy the style to the stars here. So let me click FX. I'll click it to the star, then I'll let go. And maybe I don't want it to be blue, so I'll select it. I'll click the FX again, and I'll just click the blue here. And I'll just change it to something like yellow. I'll just click this FX and drag it to my other star. And that's glowing. And I'll drag it to the glass over here. Once again, maybe I want that to just be a different color, so I'll click the FX. And let's see what color looks good. Maybe I'll make that some type of green. And I'll click close. So we created a glowing effect for one object and we were able to easily move it to the others just by clicking and dragging this effects icon. And then we could tweak it a little bit as we saw fit. Now the nice thing about these words here is that they're very easy to edit. So I'll double click on night and maybe I'll call it 80s. And then for club, I'll say party. I can just rearrange things as I want. Maybe the glass is there, put the stars over here. So it's very non-destructive. I could also do something like add a texture behind it. So maybe I wanna have a brick wall behind my text. I'll just paste this in here. I'll put it behind my text. You can choose what blend mode you want to set it to. There's many that look good. Maybe I'll set it to this hard light down here. If you wanted to highlight your text some more, you could draw a rectangle behind it. You can give it some type of radial gradient. So let's give it a gradient. Let's make it radial. Then in the middle, you can give it some type of red. Give it black on the edges. And then again, you could experiment with the blend modes and see what looks good. Maybe linear light with low opacity. So this is what my gradient looked like normally. And I reduced the opacity. To add a little more dimension to our design, what I could do is I can select all my elements here of the sign. I could group them together and I could add a shadow behind them. So I'll click effects again and I'll click outer shadow. I'll increase the offset and the radius and the intensity. And I can move it to the side a little bit. I'll use the offset tool. And you can see it helps make it look a little more three dimensional without the shadow, with the shadow, without the shadow, with the shadow. I have a whole video on how the shadow effect works. So be sure to check that out if you wanna learn more about that. And of course, if you have any questions on the glow effect, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.